Hey guys, it's Pig here, and today I'm going to be walking you through the Protoss hotkeys for StarCraft Remastered. So if you guys haven't heard about the customizable hotkeys, you can't change things like control groups or camera hotkeys. What you can change is all your unit ability and building and producing hotkeys. And this is important, it makes a massive difference. Now, there's no absolute right or wrong way to do it, you've got to find what works best for you. The philosophy I'm going to be following, and I'm showing you my setup here, so that's exactly what this video is about, is putting everything that's on the far right hand side of the keyboard that's hard to reach over on the left hand side of the keyboard. So follow along with me and I'll walk you through all the changes I've made. Let's start out here in the top left. We'll work our way across and uh, then down the buildings at the bottom. So first things first, uh, build structures. I've changed the menus to D and F across all the races. Rather than B and V being a little bit harder to reach on build basic, build advanced structures, I've said D and F is a little bit easier to reach. Let's just put them on there. Super easy, why not? When it comes to the actual uh, main structures for each race, I've then gone and uh, I've put the Nexus on W. N, way on the right hand side of the keyboard, was way too hard to reach. I was like, alright, let's put that on W. Pylons was on P. Get out of here. Put that on E. Way easier to reach. Same as the StarCraft 2 hotkey, I'm pretty sure. Uh, assimilator was fine. The gateway on G. I figure I'm going to be putting a lot of gateways in my games. G isn't hard to reach, but why not make it even easier? Let's put it on S. So when I want to build gateways, it's just D for build structures, S. Super easy. One finger presses the open menu, the other one builds it. I can build heaps of gateways just like that. Um, the other ones were all okay, except Cybernetics Core I took from Y, I put on C. C for Cybernetics Core makes perfect sense. However, that has displaced Cannon, but I put Cannons up on Q. So that's also really easy to reach. So however you choose to do it, it's important to find a more accessible hotkey for your Cybernetics Core, your Gateway, your Pylon, and your Nexus. You've got to change a lot of these structure hotkeys as Protoss to make that easier. Going over to the Advanced Structures tab, uh, what have I changed here? Not a lot. Most of these made, made good sense for me. I was like, yeah, these are all fine. These are structures you only build once. As long as they're not terrible to reach, I'm not going to change them. So the only two I've changed are the Robotics Support Bay, which I changed from B to Q, and the Observatory, which I changed from O to D. So just bringing those over to that left-hand side of the keyboard, Super simple, super easy. And when you're choosing these control group, these hotkeys, you can choose literally anything because you're selecting a structure. So you don't need to worry about it clashing with any of these move commands or anything. Um, because once you've opened the menu to build a structure, you, you can't activate any of these anymore. So I could put a forge on M for instance, and it wouldn't affect my move command. Not that I want to do that. Uh, all right, next thing guys, patrol. You would have, if you watched my Zerg or Terran video, you would know that I've put patrol on X for all my races. You have to use patrol a little bit like a move in, in, in StarCraft Remastered and Brood War. It's kind of complicated. Um, someone else can explain, you know, go, go check out some day nine videos if you want to find the complexities of how the AI works. But basically you need patrol to be a bit more accessible. So I've brought that over to the left-hand side of the keyboard, thrown it on X. Um, okay, let's go through these units. So Storm. You could bring over a little bit, I was, I was considering putting this on E or something like that, but I'm just so used to pressing T for Storm, even from the old StarCraft 2 days when I used to use default hotkeys, that I figured why not just leave it on T, it's really not that hard to reach. But if you want to, you could bring that a little bit closer. More importantly, importantly Hallucination, uh, not a spell you use very often, but I figured hey, let's take that from L, make it much closer, and I've gone and put that on F. Um, more Farcon or not, you know, you know what? You'd probably want to put Storm on, on F, because that's such an easy hockey. Oh, so beautiful. All preference, though. Um, Reaver uh, is nothing changed. Uh, Dark Archon. Don't think I changed any of these spells. They're all pretty easy to reach, F, C, and E, so it didn't bother. Uh, okay, the Shuttle. Unload, I've changed to D. U was just terrible to reach, real pain in the ass. And also load, I've changed over to E. Not sure if you need to use load for micro the same way you do in StarCraft 2, as I haven't had a chance to play with it a lot. But since you've got all the hotkeys to choose from, I figured why not make it nice and accessible. Um, didn't need to change disruption web. That was already a good hotkey. Ah, there we go. Build interceptors was on I for carriers. So make that something much more accessible. I made it R. That just made sense for me. Interceptor. Interceptor. 
I, yeah, whatever. Whatever the reasoning is, whatever makes sense to you, as long as it's easy to reach. Arbiter, I haven't changed any of those spells either, except Stasis Field. I actually did change Stasis Field. That was by default on T. I wanted that to be just a little bit easier to cast, so I put it on F. All right. And going down here into the buildings now, a very important one. Oh my God, if you change nothing else, please change this. Rather than having to press P for build probe, put it on E. Oh, so easy to build probes now. Super simple. On the gateway, uh, I changed the Dragoon from D to S. Now, the reason I did that is because I was trying to I was trying to do hotkeys, which makes sense. And Dragoons are like stalkers from StarCraft 2. So I figured put those on S because I want to bring the Dark Templar over to the left-hand side of the keyboard from K. So I've put Dark Templar on D, which moved Dragoons over to S. And my High Templar, I've moved over to E to make them a lot easier to warp in. Upgrades, I've followed the philosophy of QWERF, is how I want to do my upgrades in order. So no matter what the situation, uh, what the structures are, I figure just have them in order. Q, W, E, R, F, uh, and so on. So throughout all of my upgrades, you're going to see this pattern. Q, W, E, uh, if we go to here, Q, W, E, Q, W, Q, W, E. Same across all of these. Q, W, E, R, that should be F, not T. That was a, a misclick when I uh, set that one up, I guess. Uh, yeah, there we go. Q, E, R, T, R, that should be F, T. Yeah, T should come after F. There we go. Um, none of these hotkeys had to change. All the flying units made sense, except the Corsair, which was on O. So the one flying unit you guys need to change is the Corsair. I've gone and put it on F, make it really easy to reach. O was just crap. Don't want to use that at all. So super easy. Um, these are my settings for StarCraft 1. So what are the most important ones? If you get nothing else out of this, what are the ones you need to change? Uh, you need to change those buildings up. Remember guys, on the probe, these buildings are just such a pain to press. So Nexus, put that on an easier hotkey. Pylon especially, this is one of the most frequent buildings you have to build. Put that on a better hotkey. And if you're a badass, you're also going to make Gateway, Cybercore a little bit easier to reach. But Pylons is the most important one. The other thing is make those probes easier to press. If you only change those two, you're going to make your life a thousand times easier here in StarCraft, uh, StarCraft Remastered. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. That is my hotkey setup. Hopefully you got something out of this. Uh, as I said at the start, there's no absolute right or wrong way. Let me know, though, if you think there's something really big I forgot to change or a mistake in those settings. Who knows? Maybe maybe there is. I don't think so, though. I've tested these out quite thoroughly. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know your own little nifty things you use to make your setup better. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Check out the Zerg and Terran ones if you're a Zerg or Terran player. Um, they're up on my channel as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hug a waterman, kick a warrus, and of course, punch a garden gnome to the moon. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and good night. Bye.